on September 17, 1975. Daniel Brinkley was talking on the phone during a thunderstorm. A bolt of lightning hit the phone line, sending thousands of volts of electricity into his head and down his body, throwing him several feet into the air. His heart stopped, and he died. When Brinkley revived in the morgue, he had an incredible story to tell. An incredible story to tell. Saved by the light is the profoundly moving personal account of his near-death experiences. The second near-death experience occurring 14 years later, and the resulting spiritual transformation that has completely altered his life. After a lightning strike, Brinkley watched from above. <laughs> as Lomont and medics tried to start his heart. When doctors pronounced him dead, this man is dead. He was already traveling through a dark tunnel toward a spirit being who led him into a crystal city, a wash in light and tranquility. Brought before 13 angelic structures in what he describes as a cathedral of knowledge, Brinkley was told of events that would shake the world before the year 2000 including the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the Persian Gulf War, and America's current economic crisis. Of the 117 revelations that he recalls, 95 have already come to pass. During his long, painful covalescence, Brinkley not only revisited the spiritual advisors in his dreams, but also discovered that he had the ability to read minds. Minds. Neither the medical establishment nor religious institutions truly believed his story or could offer help. Finally, Brinkley connected with others okay. who had near-death experiences through Dr. Raymond Moody, author of Life After Life and Reunions, What's up, Matt? and a foremost researcher on the field of near-death experiences. Moody was astounded by the detail and complexity of Brinkley's story, so much so that he stayed in the bathroom for days at a time reading. Yep, he uh, never came out of the bathroom. Yep, I uh, never came out of the bathroom. Brinkley's second near-death experience occurred in 1989 when his damaged heart gave out during an attack of pneumonia. Again, he traveled to the Crystal City, where he was re re reunited with his angelic instructors and learned he was to use his new psychic and spiritual gifts to aid the dying and desperate by my... And they're very desperate. He has since devoted his life to working with the sick and the elderly and to bringing the revelations he received to people around the world. Now he has written his book to inspire people everywhere. Filled with drama and excitement and its boundless enthusiasm about life and its mysteries. <laughs> Saved by the Light is a classic in its field. Also recommended The Tenth Insight by James Redfield. And The Lost World by Michael Crichton. No, for real, look, it says, you know, Daniel.